So similar to the capture field, to use this field, you need to first download and install the repeater field add-on that's available with Everest Forms Pro version. So the repeater field helps you to create a form which includes a set of soft fields. These soft fields will have the property of being repeated more than once while you're editing the content. You can add any field from the available ones and assign them as soft fields, allowing you to create and organize complex form data with ease. When you have installed and activated this field, you can find the add repeated row just beside the add row option in the form builder. Next, you need to click on that option to add a new row that will act as the repeater row. Next, you can now simply drag and drop the required fields into the row. Once you have completed adding fields to the repeater row, you can select different settings for this row from the field option. Here, you can see options like label, metagate, description and other advanced options. In here, you can see an option called hide repeater field. You can enable this option if you do not want to show the repeater field. Next one is repeat limits. Here, you can enter maximum number of times a user can add repeater fields. So here, you can see that we have set the repeat limit to the 3. And that's why you can see that in the front end, the field can be repeated thrice and not more than that. So moving on, we have the add new label. This option allows you to change the text in the add button. Similarly, the next one is remove label. This option will allow you to change the text in the remove button. Hide label. With this option, you can hide the repeater field label. Next one is CSS classes. You can enter a custom CSS class where multiple classes should be separated with space. And lastly, you can enable conditional logic to add conditional logic to your repeater field.